3. Grammar. Sense versus for. We use sense and for to talk about something that started in the past and continues into the present. Because it started in the past and it continues into the present, we'll be using present perfect to create our sentences. If you don't know what the present perfect is, go and watch this video, 3A2 Grammar, to learn more about present perfect. Now, this is me teaching the students in al Faisaliya School for Gifted. I've been teaching English for 13 years now. This st started in the past. I'm not a new teacher. I've been teaching English for 13 years now. And I didn't quit. I am still teaching. This is why I'm using present perfect progressive. Now, we learned how to use present perfect simple. I didn't teach you how to use present perfect progressive, but it doesn't matter. Because today's grammar is not about present perfect. It's about for or since. All we must care about is that we use for here. For 13 years. There is another way to say the exact same thing. I can say, I've been teaching English since 1424. I've been teaching English since 1424. Now, both sentences give the same meaning, but I used for here when I said 13 years. 13 years is the amount of time. How many years? How long? How long have I been teaching English? I've been teaching English for 13 years. This is the amount of time. I used since when I gave you the starting point. When did I start teaching English? I started in 1424. This is the starting point, the time I started teaching, not the amount. Very simple. We use for if we have the amount of time. I will give you more examples of amount of time. Like when I say two weeks, this is amount of time. When I say three years, two minutes, 15 days, all these are amount of time. Or maybe I can just say hours. I've been waiting for you for hours. Where have you been? I didn't say three hours, four hours. I can just say hours. I've been waiting for you for hours. Why are you late? I use sense when I have the starting point. I've been waiting for you since 3 p.m. Since 3 o'clock, I've been waiting for you. You are very late. Now it's 6. I've waited for 3 hours. See, I have waited for 3 hours. I have waited for you since 3 p.m. Why are you late? I hope that this is clear. Now, we are ready to work on this exercise. Complete with for or since. Now, this number one sentence is similar to mine. Mr. Ammar has been a teacher for English in, in this school 1995. This is the starting point. This is the year when Mr. Ammar started teaching since 1995. I haven't heard from him years. Okay, is this the starting point? Or is this the amount of years? This is the amount of years. For years. When did it start? We don't know. We don't know the exact point. All we know is that he hasn't heard from him for years, many years. But we don't know the time it started. Three. I have known Yusuf three years. Four. Three years. Four. Mark has written three books. He moved to Paris. Is this an amount of time? This is the starting point. He started writing books the time he moved to Paris. This Mark maybe lived in America and now 
he lives in Paris, he moved to Paris, and since he moved to Paris, he has written three books. This is the starting point. Five. We have had this TV five years for five years. I hope that this was useful. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with friends. Goodbye. Thank you.